Hi, it's Joe here. Welcome to another episode. This year is another exciting year because I'm getting a flower from this variety, Futura Superba. Three years in a row. Can you believe that? Some people say that you need a bit of luck to make your snake plants to bloom. But if it happens three years in a row, it's really hard to say it's solely based on luck, especially if you're growing it indoors. If you are extremely unlucky, your Sanseveria can go decades without blooming. So I hope this video will help you with what you can do to encourage it to bloom. Before making this video, I searched YouTube to see what others said to check if my experience aligns with their claims. I watched a video from Balcony Garden Web and a video from Mita Bishnoi Garden Tips. So today I will summarize three key points of each video and share my thoughts. The title of the first video I watched is How to get a snake plant to bloom from Balcony Garden Web. In this video it said snake plant flowers when it is in a root bound stage and when it is exposed to a lot of sunlight. And it also mentioned the best bet would be placing the plant on an east facing window. And the second video is how to make your snake plant flower from Mita Bishnoi Garden Tips. In this video, it said snake plant flowers on maturity and when it is root bound. Second, it generally flowers when it is kept outdoors. And lastly, it suggested keeping the snake plant in a place where it can receive bright light. In both videos, they mentioned that snake plants flowers when it is root bound. And the first flower that I got from this variety was also in a root bound stage. But look at this plant. I separated this from the mother plant in October last year. It's only been seven to eight months. And currently it has one offset and it is blooming from the rosette here. I'm pretty sure this is not in a root bound stage. It's been less than a year. It only has one offset. It's not overcrowded. So I don't think root bound is a definitive requirement to get your snake plants to flower. In my opinion, the most important factor is light. Increasing the snake plant's exposure to sunlight will boost its growth and increase the chances of blooming flowers. So I agree that the best bet would be placing your snake plant on an east facing window. Interestingly, I didn't get any of my snake plants to bloom on a west facing window. It all happened on the east side of the house. Now let's talk about soil. If you are in the US, just using regular potting mix bought from big box stores will be sufficient. You can add perlite to improve drainage, but I don't think adding perlite is a must. Anyway, it needs to grow in a good quality potting mix. The next important thing is to water consistently and give the exact amount of water that the plant needs. As you might know, I water my snake plants every two weeks and I have shown how I water in my previous video. So those are my thoughts on how to make snake plants flower. One last interesting fact. So each cluster of leaves can only flower once. So that rosette won't gain any further growth, but it will continue to send out rhizomes that sprout new offsets. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.